everyone, welcome to Tech Tips. Today I'll be sharing one of my favorite websites with you, Canva.com. Canva is a great resource for designing print documents and online content. Today I'll be using the free version of Canva. You can create an account by using your email address. Okay, this is what Canva looks like once you're logged into your account. This is the home screen. You'll notice there are navigation bars on the side and at the top. I'm not going to discuss those today, but if you'd like more assistance, check out the Learn tab. Canva has a lot to offer. Okay, tech tip number one is when searching for a template, use specific search terms. So in this search box, I can type flyer and hit enter. What populates are hundreds of flyers that you then need to wade through to find the one you'd like to use. A much easier way to search is to use a specific search term. So up here at the top, I'm just going to type Halloween flyer and hit enter. Now what I'm given is a much more manageable amount of flyers to look through. So again, tech tip number one, use specific search terms. Tech tip number two is all about editing the template. To edit a template, just simply choose one by left clicking. It opens in a new tab. This is your workspace area. This is where you can make changes to the template so that you're eventually ready to print or save the item. Most flyers have a page one and a page two, which means front and back, but I don't need the back of the flyer, so I'm just going to delete it real quick by clicking the little trash can icon. Now you'll notice as I'm moving my mouse around that a blue outline appears anytime I'm hovering over something. That just shows you what area you'll be working on. So if I click Halloween Spook Fest, that highlights and outlines the text box that I can change. The text formatting toolbar up here shows where I can change the font, the font size, the color, and so on. Let's just show you how to change. All I have to do is click in the box and I can just type what I'd like. I'm gonna change this to Halloween Book Fest. Oops, now it's green. I want that to match the rest of the word. So I'm going to left click and highlight that letter. Go up here to text color. One great feature about Canva is that it gives you a list of document colors. So any color used in your document is right here, easy for you to access. And you just click that color you need and it changed it to orange. Um, let's say you want to change uh, co the color of this candy. If you click on it, you see it's outlined in blue. Up here on this formatting toolbar, you can choose different colors. You can crop it and make it smaller, and you can also flip the picture. So there's just a numerous amount of things you can do. Play around with those formatting toolbars when you click different areas of the template. Over here to the far left is an area you're going to use a lot. All of these tabs offer different things that you can add or change on the template. So in the background tab, you just can click one of these and it will change the background of your template. The video tab allows you to insert live video short clips into the template. This is good for obviously online content that you might be creating for social media and so on. The Styles tab allows you to change the text scheme and the color scheme of the entire template. The Text tab allows you to insert text boxes and all you have to do is just click it and it adds a text box. If you don't want it, you simply just continue clicking and delete. Okay. The Elements tab includes a lot. It gives you recently used items, clip art, lines, shapes, photo frames. It even has charts that you can use if you're creating a report. Um, just You can look through that later. The Photos tab allows you to insert photographs into your template. You may have noticed this earlier, but when you hover over an element, it will tell you whether the item is free to use. Or for example, this second picture has a crown and the word pro. That means you have to be a premium member or you have to pay to use that item. I've always used the free account and I've never run into an issue with missing out on something. And the templates tab at the top, if you decide I don't like this template very much, once you get into it, you can just search for a new template here and it will insert it once you click it. So tech tip number two is all about editing the template. 
All right, tech tip number three is my favorite feature of Canva, and that is the Uploads tab. You can actually upload images or videos that you have saved to your computer or maybe in your Google Drive or your Facebook, and you can upload them to this account to use in whatever template you're working on. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna click Upload an Image or Video, and I'm going to Device, that means my computer. Give it just a minute to load. I'm already in my pictures folder, which is great. I'm just gonna scroll down and find the image I'm looking for. I want the NWRLS logo, and I'm going to click Open. And see, it uploads whatever image or video in here on this little, in this little area. And whenever it's done loading, it just finished, I can add it to my template by just simply left clicking on it. And here you can resize by left clicking in the corner and dragging. I'm gonna make it smaller because I'd like to put this logo at, at the very bottom of my flyer. Another great thing, you'll notice these pink lines appear. That shows that you're centering it on the text above it, which is a great feature to have. But that is how you use the upload feature in Canva. Okay, my final tip for Canva today is how to print. Say you're finished with your document and you're ready to print. You're going to go up to the right hand corner to the download arrow. You're not going to want to print flyers because one of the services Canva offers are printing services that cost money. So what you'll want to do is click the download arrow and download it to your device. When you click download, it opens and gives you a file type choice. I usually always leave it on the PDF print suggested and leave it there. But if you're needing, say, an image, so you need a JPEG file, you can always choose that as well. And then all you do is just click download. It will prepare your design, and you'll notice that right down here on the bottom of my screen, it's downloading my PDF file. It's also going to be in your downloads folder for you to open and print like you normally would on your computer. Canva does give these little ads, but you can just click the little X in the right hand corner to make them go away. Another feature to be aware of is you do not have to save your project. Canva saves your project automatically. So right up here on the blue bar where it says all changes saved, you don't have to worry about saving it yourself, it's done. I can click the X on this tab, go back to the home page of Canva, and underneath your designs, it will load as soon as you refresh the screen. So I'm refreshing the screen, and you'll see I've been working and practicing, and there's a bunch of different designs available. But that is how you print in Canva. I hope you enjoyed learning about Canva.com today and have fun exploring the site on your own. If you'd like to learn more about any new programs or virtual programs that we're doing at the library, you can visit the Bay County Public Library Facebook page and our website at www.nwrls.com. Thanks. Have a great day.